So now we will move, after all that latest alternative news, to the slew of posts on cyberspacewar.com. Again, huge thanks to my man Alan in Omaha for blowing up cyberspacewar.com. If you would like to get involved in posting blips, articles, clips, anything in the cyberspace war world or the food world order world... You can contact me, mediamonarchy at gmail.com. Hacktivism! And of course, we get right into all the related WikiLeaks adventures. Activist Post picked up the Reuters article, WikiLeaks Battle, a new amateur face of cyber war, which seems to confirm cyber war has escalated and entered a new, more dangerous phase. The article reports WikiLeaks defense has become something of a popular rebellion amongst hundreds or thousands of tech-savvy activists. The online movement even has a name o Operation Avenge Assange. Current operation behind recent attacks on MasterCard and Visa, among others, is an outgrowth of an early series of attacks called Operation Payback. These operations used DDoS distributed denial of service attacks to deny access to a targeted website. An online group called Anonymous appears to be using social networking site Twitter to coordinate attacks on websites belonging to entities it views as trying to silence WikiLeaks. Well, attacks continue until Assange is set free and WikiLeaks is no longer targeted? Question mark. This new development of internet anarchism via, via amateur attacks is bad news as, of course, it plays right into the hands of those who wish to restrict the internet. Is this synthetic terror? Or again, as Webster Tarpley would call it, virtual flag terrorism. Seismolo- seismologic... Dot com gets into some of the reasons perhaps WikiLeaks is not a PSYOP. We also will reference here, and we'll reference it again on the upcoming episode 198, an article from someone that goes by the name Zen Gardner with an article on BeforeIt'sNews.com, and we'll mention that BeforeIt'sNews.com does syndicate out all the posts from Media Monarchy and Food World Order and Cyberspace War. We bring up Julian Assange and his annoyance of 9-11 Truth 